Welcome to this BMW Casio video. We've had a few comments on the last video wanting us to update our records. So we're going to address that now and we're going to show you how to do an online service history, upload and transfer to a vehicle using the new BMW Casio method and more importantly using the BMW key reader device. So first things first, we need to log into our BMW AOS portal. This has slightly changed since the last time we looked, but the same method applies. We simply hit the login option in the top right hand corner. We input our username and password and straight away it logs us in to the start page. Now on the start page, you will see straight away the service history application. It's not a separate application anymore under the applications tab. It's now appearing on that first page with a lovely little picture of the BMW key reader. So what we need to do to read, to use the key reader, we simply place the key on the device and we'll see the confirmation come up as in the form of a green light on the device. We'll also get an audible warning tone as well to tell us that that data has been read. Once we've seen that confirmation, we can then remove the key and then we click on the read out vehicle key tab. We update the record. This will refresh all the vehicles that we've identified. Once we've done that, we close that little window down and we'll see then the top entry will be our current key read that we've just done. And to access into that vehicle, we simply click the little arrow on the right hand side. That'll take us to the vehicle requirements tab. Now, if we want to know a little bit more about the vehicle that we're working on today, we can click one tab back and go into the vehicle information. This vehicle information tab will show us the full vehicle VIN number. More importantly, the last time the vehicle was updated with software, so we can see how up to date it is on software versions. And if required, we can get that booked in for the customer in the workshop, and we can maximize return then on doing coding and programming jobs and work because there may be a technical bulletin that affects the way the vehicle is driving. We'll go back to the vehicle requirements tab. So this now is how we will upload um, our online service history entry. So by scrolling down, okay, you can see that the method under, under condition based service, CBS, there is the source, so it's key data. So that's telling us that we've read the information from the key. You can see by scrolling a little bit further down that actually what it's showing us here is that the standard scope, the brake fluid, and the statutory vehicle inspection are all overdue. Now we know they're overdue because physically there are dates listed underneath, but more importantly, they're displayed as red icons on the screen. As opposed to the green icons next to them, the green icons, they're fine, they've already been serviced, they're items we don't need to worry about until the dates or the mileages that are shown. So if we're wanting to know what these pictures refer to, simply by hovering over each specific icon brings up a little text telling us that this is the engine oil, this one here is the fuel filter, this one here is air filter, and you can see there are some little arrows across the top. Some of these components are all linked and should necessarily be replaced at the same time. So there's the pollen filter, and then we go on to our rear and our front brake pads, along with our vehicle check. Now it's already put ticks in the items that are overdue, because those are what it's expecting us to do. So if we're happy and we just want to write that entry now onto the online portal, and more importantly, transfer that data into the BMW's iDrive system, we click on the Write and Display Service History. This will then pop up a nice little window that gives us the ability now to just double check that everything is correct. So the service date obviously is defaulted to today's date that, we, that we're inputting. The mileage is automatically taken from the key. So this is something we don't need to worry about. This is one of the benefits of using the BMW key reader. If we'd have inputted the vehicle VIN number specifically, 17 digit characters in its total entirety, we would be starting from scratch. We would physically have to input the mileage 
all right, in kilometers. So we'd need to do that conversion. Also, we'd need to put the date as well, in there as well. It is worth noting that you can change the service date. You can go back a few days, but it won't let you go back months and months. So it's always prudent to upload this entry when you're actually doing the service on the vehicle. Now, if we've decided that we want to do additional items as part of the service, then it's as easy and simple as selecting and putting a tick in the corresponding box on the left-hand side against the items we we're actually changing and we're carrying out on the service. So here, I'm just going to put that we've done and additionally, engine oil, just for the purpose of this demonstration in this video. Then if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's a little tick box here that we need to accept, and that's basically saying the complete uploaded service history will also be transmitted into the vehicle over the air. So we tick this little box here to accept that, and then we simply click the right service history entry. You can see that that's saying processing the transfer that will then send this vehicle data back to the vehicle. If we want to get a physical printout now to give to our customer upon collection of the car, we can now click the little print icon, something that a lot of users and a lot of people have been asking about when they've been uploading service history is you've only really had that one option and one opportunity to print that record. Once you've actually done it and closed that window, that facility then has been lost and there's been no way of printing previous service history entries and records. That has now been changed and rectified in this version and this update. So we can now print all of the previous service history entries, which is a real positive and a really plus. A a real good plus selling uh, feature of this particular update. So you can see underneath here now, there's an entry here that was made uh, back in 2020, again with that print icon. So if we wanted to print that, we could do. Again, it's great to give to the customer just so they've got that full service history traceability that they can hand on with the vehicle should they want to then potentially sell the vehicle later down the line. So once we've done all that, all we then need to do literally is we close that window off and that then should have now transferred the vehicle service history into the vehicle. Allow a few minutes for the transfer over the air, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, and that should be everything done. There's no need now to do a manual physical transfer if it's on a modern BMW vehicle. It's all transferred now over the air. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been useful. We're always making videos such as this um, to make your life a lot easier in the workshops, to keep you up to speed and up to date. And if you want to be informed of any future videos that we release, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.